Ngayon naman, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-analyze ng person or correlation. Gamit pa rin yung ating mobile app na tinatawag na Analyze Stat. So, ito yung ating example. Below is a data of six participants given their number of years in college and their subsequent yearly income. Income is in thousands of peso. But this fact does not require any changes in our computations. Test whether there is a relationship at alpha equals 0.05. Dito sa problem na ito, gusto nating uh, malaman kung meron bang relationship ang number of years in college, which is the x variable, at ang yearly income, which is our y variable. Nandyan na rin kung ilan yung number of years at ilan yung income sa bawat year. Ang gagawin naman natin ngayon is ibibase natin at 0.05 kung meron nga ba silang relationship. So before we do that, kailangan muna nating state ang ating null hypothesis. So our null hypothesis is there is no significant relationship between number of years in college and yearly income. So kung meron ka ng Null hypothesis, ready ka nang gamitin ang analyst stat sa pag-analyze ng ating data. Pero bago niyan, uh, kailangan natin tandaan na sa pag-analyze ng person or correlation, meron tayong pinag-debasen ng ating references. So paano nga ba interpret ang correlation coefficient kung sakasakaling nakapag-analyze na tayo? So kapag ang nakuha natin value ng R ay nasa pagitan ng mga ito, so, let's say 0.9 to 1, masasabi natin na ang coefficient nila, or correlation coefficient nila ay very high positive or negative correlation. Pag 0.7 to 0.9, there is a high positive or negative correlation. 0.5 to 0.7 ay moderately positive or negative correlation. Pag 0.3 to 0.5, there is low positive negative correlation. At 0.0 to 0.3, there is no correlation or negligible correlation. So, lagi nating tandaan ito kasi dito natin ibibase or dito natin uh, titignan mamaya kung paano natin i-interpret yung size of the correlation ng dalawang variables natin. Ngayon naman, kapag ang p-value natin ay less than the level of significance, i-reject -re natin yung ating null hypothesis. So, tandaan natin yun na pag ang p-value ay greater than the level of significance, accept the null hypothesis. Pag ang p-value ay mas mababa or less than, i-reject natin ang ating null hypothesis. So, ready na kayo para sa pag-analyze? Okay. So, ito yung ating app sa pag-analyze ng data. I-press natin ang analyze step. Okay. Tapos, Pindutin natin yung inferential statistics na nakikita nyo dyan sa list ng uh, mga types of statistics natin. Tapos, choose test directly. Then, hanapin natin yung person correlation coefficient. Ayun. Tapos, uh, pindutin nyo lang yung person correlation coefficient dyan. Okay. Tapos, meron na tayong nakikita nyo dyan. Okay. Balikan lang natin yung slide natin kanina. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung arrangement niya is in uh, horizontal. Pero dito sa atin, dahil hindi naman natin pwedeng i-clear itong rows dito, ang gagawin natin is pa-vertical. Itong group 1 natin, yan yung ating x variable. So, ilalagay ko na lang dyan ay x, meaning that is the number of years in college. Sa group 2 naman, that is our y for our yearly income. So, ilagay na natin yung ating mga values. Okay. So, we have uh, 0, 1, 2. Okay. Kung papas yung kulang, ano? I mean, hindi pala yung 2. Uh, 3 pala. Ayan. Dahil kulang, magdadagdag tayo ng tatlong row. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, Tuloy na lang natin, 4, 4, then 6. Okay. Sa so y naman, 15, 15, 20, 
30 at 25. Ayan. So, kung ready na ang yung data, start na natin i-analyze. So, press lang natin yung analyze na nakikita yung data sa ating uh, screen. Ayan. So, the person correlation coefficient in terms of R, ito yung ating uh, person R coefficient correlation. So, we have 0.8 uh, 0.8292 Ibig sabihin yan, doon sa pinakita kong relationship kanina ng pag-interpret ng correlation, ito ay pasok sa very high correlation. Sa p-values naman, makikita nyo ng ating uh, result will be 0.0413 Meaning, mas mababa siya sa 0 uh, 0 0.05 level of significance. So, ang ating decision doon ay i-reject ang ating null hypothesis. Meaning, kapag i-interpret mo na yun, there is now a relationship or there is a significant relationship between the number of years in college and monthly income. Okay? So, ganun lang kadali mag-analyze ng person R correlation gamit ang analyze stack.